On August 11, 1999, more than two billion people across Earth saw a total eclipse of the sun. Daytime was turned into darkness, from England to Egypt to India. Why do you think solar eclipses occur? A solar eclipse happens when the moon's orbit around Earth takes it between Earth and the sun, partially covering the sun's light here on Earth. In the 1999 solar eclipse, the shadow of the moon was cast across most of the eastern hemisphere. A total solar eclipse is just one example of a pattern in space. A lunar eclipse is another example. Lunar eclipses occur when the moon is on the opposite side of Earth from the sun. The moon moves into Earth's shadow. The darkest part is called the umbra, and the moon slowly appears darker. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon takes on a reddish color. Eclipses and other patterns in space occur because Earth and the moon are always moving in relation to the sun and to one another. Why do you think the shape of the moon changes from a thin crescent to a half circle to a big bright ball of light and then back again? When the moon is between Earth and the sun, the sun lights up the half of the moon that faces away from Earth. The side of the moon facing Earth is dark. We call this phase a new moon. When the moon is on the opposite side of Earth from the sun, we call that a full moon. During a full moon phase, the sun lights up the half of the moon that faces Earth. Can you guess how long it takes to go from a full moon back to a new moon? That's right, about two weeks or about half a month. But no matter how often you look at the moon, there is one thing you can never see from Earth, the far side of the moon, the side that always points away from Earth. That's because as the moon revolves around Earth, it also rotates on its axis. The moon revolves and rotates once each month. That keeps the same side of the moon always facing Earth. The first images of the far side were taken in 1959 by a Russian probe called Luna 3. American astronauts got a glimpse of the far side of the moon as they orbited it during the Apollo missions of the 1960s and 1970s. Then, in 2009, NASA launched the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, a robotic spacecraft that orbits the moon 50 kilometers above its surface. It took a team of hundreds of engineers and technicians to plan and launch the LRO, and project manager Craig Tooley oversees it all. Our job is to take a suite of very powerful scientific instruments and make an atlas of the entire moon for the world to use as the map book when we return to the moon. Now anyone back on Earth with access to a computer can finally see the far side of the moon in all its cratered glory. Whether it is a solar eclipse, a lunar eclipse, or just the monthly phases of the moon, all you need to do is look up in the night sky to see the amazing patterns that occur from the movement of the sun, the moon, and Earth.